This buddy is my family. He is my best friend. Yes, they say a dog is a man's best friend, and that's certainly true when it comes to my canine companion, Cooper. So tonight, in honor of my four-legged furball, Coop and I will be bringing you a truly pawsome episode. From photo shoots... You want some cheese? <laughs> ...to five-star digs... Is that a pedicure? Well, a pedicure. Oh, excuse me. We will be meeting some very colorful characters. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Proving that it's a dog's life after all. Welcome to the Bark Side, tonight on First Look. inundated with wannabe starlets who dream of hitting the big time. From Quentin Tarantino to Jim Morrison, the city has spawned some serious legends. And here to follow in the footsteps of these industry greats is Cooper Roberts, who has come to the heart of Hollywood in the hope of becoming an Instagram sensation. All right, Cooper, what do you think, huh? Dogs of Instagram 101? Gotta start pulling your weight, honey. Start paying some rent, working for mommy. Mwah! And with preparation being the key to success, I want to find out more about this trend of hashtagging your hound. You launched Dogs of Instagram. Tell me about that. How did it get started? Yeah, my husband and I launched it in uh, 2011, mm -hmm. so a long time ago. And at that time, Instagram was really new. And we were like, what do we want to look at on Instagram? Yeah. And do dogs, like cute dogs. So Jordy is like a famous face of Dogs of Instagram, correct? Jordy has been featured multiple times on Dogs of Instagram because he is so adorable. He has over 160,000 followers. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Can they make a little money off this? You know, because Coop needs to be carrying his weight. I would say that for the top model dogs, it is a lucrative business. Really? Yeah. I know <laughs> plenty of humans that have quit their day jobs to, to manage their dogs' accounts. Yes, from the world's cutest dog, Boo, who earns one million in a year to Marnie the dog who has released her own book. Our furry friends are some of the most influential users of social media. This is a legitimate business with these dogs. Ashley, it's a dog eat dog world. Wow, girl, hashtag. <laughs> you tell us. Okay, he's getting big headed this one over here just because he's got followers and things. I think Coop's got a shot, what do you think? With a face like that, you've got potential, kid. <laughs> But if Coop wants to get insta-famous, then he's gonna have to get camera ready. And that means giving him a special look. <gasps> look at you! Look at you, you little punk rock star. He looks awesome, Emmett. He did really good with everything. Yeah, he's a good boy. Thank All set you. to be famous now. All set to be famous, buddy. It's photo shoot time. And being an Instagram hit requires nothing less than working with the best petographer in the industry. And with clients such as Mr. Boba Bear and the Lady Gaga of the canine world on his resume, Jesse Frieden sure is the man for the job. So this is Cooper's first real photo shoot. Coop's kind of like, you know, like a little bit of a punk, a little bit of a badass. I really want to like express his personality. That's great to know. Um, I want to make sure, you know, there's a feel of kind of edginess. He's going to be the next face. Yeah. Dog celebrity world. Time for this Maltese with the mohawk to show off what he's got. That's perfect. Good, and then, yeah, you can even stand right where you are. That's great. Nice job, buddy. Oh, good boy. Getting a good photograph of your dog is a balancing act for sure. First of all, photograph where your dog is comfortable. If your dog is happiest lounging on the couch, Photograph there. That's great. I'm gonna just do a few more here. You don't want to push your dog too much because he'll just get stressed out. Stay. I'm so proud of you. You are such a good boy, okay? The best thing to do is just meet your dog at his energy level, get down physically on his level, and the more relaxed it is, the better, the better it's gonna be. Let's. Does he look tired? He looks a little tired. He's a little sleepy. But he's doing. <laughs> he's doing great. I think Coop's doing great. It's his first photo shoot. I think he's he's a little overwhelmed. There's a lot going on. Cooper. Dude, he's been taking doggy Valium and something he, like yeah. lay off the zannies, boo. <laughs> he might need to just take a little breather. Cooper, you want I mean, Good <laughs> boy. <laughs> he's like, mm. like guys, I'm I'm done actually. Like, I, okay. I nailed it. <laughs> 
It sure is exhausting being an Instagram dog, but if Coop wants to rack up those followers, he sure is gonna have to work on his stamina. So rock and roll, Coop. Good job, Bubba. You did good. Coming up, a pet psychic reveals exactly what Cooper is thinking. When did they give him something for it and put it on him? He said he didn't like it. And why did they do that? Made his head look funny, that he said. Can't get enough of First Look? Check out FirstLookTV.com for full episodes, behind the scenes extras, and more. Have you ever wondered what your dog is thinking? Cooper, wanna go for a walk? Cooper, Cooper, how's my hair look? You don't wanna listen to me? What are you thinking, little one, huh? What's going on in your little hair? Well, if you wish you could parlay with your pooch or converse with your kitty, you need to call in the experts. My name is Sonia Fitzpatrick, and I talk to animals. And they talk back to me. And when they talk back to me, I can hear what they're saying. Did you enjoy your dinner then? Is there any more? Well, I'll have a look and see. Is there any more he's asking? It's not enough for him. My first dog was Judy. I started to communicate with her at a very early age. I found that with talking to Judy, other animals spoke exactly the same way. So I was able to talk to all the animals. I don't put myself in a human form. I become the animal. I see the world from where they see it. If I'm a cat, I can smell the floor. I, on four legs, it's, I put myself into that body and then I'm able to receive their language really well. Well, Cooper's obviously knows I'm going to be talking to him. I'm looking forward to meeting him. I haven't met him yet, but he has got quite a big ego. I know that already. <laughs> how do you know that? Tell us how <laughs> because I, I, I'm picking it up from him. <laughs> and I can tell you that he's got a very big ego and he's got her wound around his little paw. I'm feeling excited about today. I've met a few intuitive people in my life and I do believe that they exist and they have a gift. I'm nervous to find out what Cooper you know what it's gonna say. Hello, sweetheart. This is Cooper. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, you look very beautiful. You <laughs> do. Everyone tells me that I'm beautiful, he says. Come in, darling. Okay. Please sit down. Okay. <laughs> now then, is there anything you want to ask him? Because where do, when does he get nervous? So, okay. Because I'm feeling nervousness from he, him, and he's telling me he sometimes gets nervous. He is a great dog, and then all of a sudden, when there is men with trousers, he goes aggro. And it's I, no rhyme or reason, though. Are yeah, there? there is, to him. Because he said some of them, he likes it when they're really straight. He doesn't like them when they wave around. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> okay. When did they give him something for it and put it on him? Uh -huh. at the, at the, at when he had his hair cut, because he didn't like it. The mohawk? Yeah, it, he said he didn't like it. And why did they do that? Made his head look funny, that he said. <laughs> he said, will you make sure they don't do that again? I thought he liked it. So he that's... said, I didn't like it. It felt funny and everybody commented, he said. Sorry, Coop. Well, my communication skills obviously need work, so I wanted to learn exactly how Sonia does it. So first of all, we're going to get in a relaxed position and we're going to start to talk to Cooper and keep breathing in and out. I think he answered. <laughs> <laughs> Come to and tell us what you experienced. I asked him um, why he likes to hide in these little small spaces and then all of a sudden I got from his point of view. Yes, from his level. Yeah, and him kind of looking out and it just felt very safe and, and he felt very protected. Yes. So when you are tuning in with the animals and do you feel like it's a meditative yes. space? It's trusting your intuition. Yeah. And it, it, it's, that's the main thing, trusting. Yes. It's so it's not come, going to go along and smack you in the face and you hear loud and it, it's all subtle yeah. and quiet. Wow. You're hardcore. <laughs> Give me a high five, sister. <laughs> I 
felt like Cooper and I had a really strong connection before coming to see Sonia today. I mean, we're, I, he's, him and I are really connected. But it was cool to be able to speak in kind of a different way and to get somebody else that was like, yeah, thumbs up, you guys are in tune. Dr. Doolittle, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, it's Bone Appetit as Coop samples the High Life New York style. Doggy Dog beer. <laughs> I know. You go with our rosé. I that. mean, come on. <laughs> our kids need a little fun. First Look wants to talk to you. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. From trendy terriers to stylish shih tzus, the Big Apple is teeming with the hottest dogs on the planet. Yes, the city, as they say, is going to the dogs, and no one is happier about this than Cooper, who will be spending the day sampling life as a pampered New York pooch. And that means nothing less than five-star luxury. Hi, welcome. Hi, how are you? Doing well, how are you? I'm good, I've got Cooper here, my little dog. Hi, Cooper. Yeah. Hello. This place looks amazing. It's like a real hotel. We're a fancy dog hotel, you got it. We have suites and um, private chefs and chauffeur services, all that fun stuff. I'd love to check it out. Can you show me around? Let's do it. Yes, a hotel exclusively for dogs. And with dogs being regarded more as family members than pets, these are exactly the kind of standards New Yorkers are coming to expect. Oh, look at this, Coop. Check out this big bed. Is there any deep demands here at Deep Pets Hotel? We get a lot of client requests. We have even had a, a parent come in and sage the room just to cleanse the, the room, so we get it all. Oh. <laughs> Is that a pedicure happening on a little? It's hold a podicure. Oh, excuse me. Podicure. Look at that. The Cooper has a lunch date today, so do you have any ideas to spruce him up a bit for his oh. day? We could do what we call the Dawn Draper. I love it. You're looking good, honey. Cooper, look at you, swab. And with Coop channeling his inner Don Draper, it's all about the ladies and dogs at lunch, as we set off to meet Bailey and her owner, Jennifer Gold, real estate columnist for the New York Post and its luxury lifestyle supplement, Alexa Magazine. But forget kibble, it's hot cuisine all the way for these cosmopolitan canines. Coop, are you ready for this? Oh my God, come on, Bubba, go to it. This no. is unbelievable. I We're in the middle of the city in New York on this terrace with our dogs having gluten-free quinoa. <laughs> and you're writing about this in a column. I'm writing about this in my Gimme Shelter column for Alexa. Okay. And um, one thing we're noticing is, you know, the city really welcomes dogs. I mean, wherever you go, restaurants, cafes, you know, everyone's very welcoming. <laughs> so do you feel like in the city, this is kind of starting to come alive, this whole like luxurious style for, for pets? Absolutely. If you look around New York City today, you see new luxury buildings all the time. Yeah. And what they're building now are dog runs inside the buildings. 2,000 square foot grooming stations. That's we amazing. We also have celebrity dog acupuncturists who will come and actually do acupuncture on your dog. There's an explosion of everything. I mean, even this, this Doggy dog beer. <laughs> I know. We go with our rosé. I mean, to... come on. Our kids need a little fun. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, cheers to our pets. Cooper, Bailey. Bailey. Yes. Cheers, Cooper. Mwah. Mwah. Cheers, cheers that. And when the celebrity pet set want to escape the city, they head to the Hamptons. And Coop and I have the hottest ticket in town an exclusive pool party for dogs hosted by Puppy Parties NYC. This is the party of the season. This is pretty extravagant, having a pool where the dogs could go swimming, photographers, a photo booth, appetizers, wine. It's I mean, pretty high end. Well, Cooper wore his little poncho for the fiesta, so he is he ready to go. He's ready to party, as oh. we say in the puppy world. <laughs> Let's do it. Cheers, Cheers. to that. <laughs> and an A-list event like this attracts nothing less than Instagram doggy royalty. Toast. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you? Good. This is Cooper, 
Mark Cooper's had a toast. Hi, Cooper's cute. Toast is like a lister up here right now. <laughs> is this something you do often? Take toast to these dog parties? I take toast to every party. I mean, toast is invited to parties. I'm not invited to parties, to be clear. So how many followers does Toast have? Um, toast has around 375,000 followers. Dang, Toast. That is up there. Look She's at She's busy. She is busy. Yeah. Toast will like diva out and she'll like pee on the floor and then we'll like get to a red carpet and, and like turn and stay. Give it a little blue steel yeah. action. Yeah. Well, the dogs in New York City really do live the life. And it's nice to know that Cooper now has some furry friends in very high places. Coming up, if you want to be best in show, you have to let your true colors shine. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I have never seen anything like this. When it comes to Cooper's talents, well, let's just say he would win a cuddle contest hands down. But if you have a hound that can hurdle, a pooch that can pose, or a four-legged freestyler, then the Houston World Series of Dog Shows is the place for you. All right, Coop, what do you think about these little babies? I think you can take them. Yes, forget about the catwalk. Today, it's the dogs that are taking center stage. Do you like all these bitches? <laughs> And the heart and soul of any dog show is the breed judging, where dogs are marked on certain physical standards set by the American Kennel Club. How can you judge? They're all so pretty. But being in the top 10 of all breeds doesn't come cheap, costing in excess of $100,000. And the main action all happens behind the scenes. Okay, so who's this cutie pie? His name is Mug. Mug! Mm -hmm. Looking fabulous. Are those curlers? Actually, those are wrappers, and we take, he's got really long hair way past the floor, and we wrap him up so he can play and be a, a real dog, you know, when he's not at the shows, and that hair doesn't get in his way. I call it his pajamas. His pajamas. Uh -huh. And what's happening right now? So I've never seen a dog get flat ironed before. Well, when it's time to show, the wrappers actually are putting crinkles in the hair. Yeah. So we use a flat iron just to take out those lines from the wrappers. I love the name Mug. That's very gangster. Well, his official American Kennel Club name is Rhapsody's Poker Face. So it's, look at that mug is his little saying. So. Oh my god, that is amazing. But there's more to these dogs than a well-groomed coat. What do you think, Coop? You think you can do it? You think you can do that? So tell me about the freestyle contest. So freestyle is dog dancing. So you can see we don't stand on the hind legs and hold their paws like you see on TV. So yeah, yeah. We do basic things your dog already knows, like sit, stay, come, heel. Yeah. And then we teach them extra tricks. And we choreograph it all together into a routine. And can you teach any dog? Any you? dog can do it. So I like to come back behind and oh. toss my food here. So part of the hard thing for them is to go, especially the little dog, is to go through your legs. All right. Okay. Give it a whirl. So go from behind you. What's this? There you go. Uh, then pull it around. Get in that tree. Get in that yeah. tree. There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. That a boy. You are adorable. I'll take you dancing anytime. Yeah. <laughs> and while happy to get his groove on, the next contest is purely a spectator sport for my little coop. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I have never seen anything like this. Thank Tell, you. This is amazing. Thank you. Tell me about this contest. This is actually a creative grooming contest. These are all our personal dogs that we use. This is Sterling. She's a three-year-old standard poodle. I don't know about standard. She's not looking like that standard <laughs> poodle right now. Maybe not quite standard. <laughs> Unique poodle. Unique poodle, Unique yes. Poodle. She has a, a dog on her sweater. Yes, that is actually the hound. <laughs> the hound here. The other side is actually the fox hiding in the bushes. Oh my god. And then gosh. she is actually the rider with the helmet. 
her jacket and the boots. How long does this process take? You usually work on them for about two weeks in sessions. If she didn't want this done, there's no way I could do this. <laughs> well, good luck and Thank everything. Thank you so much. Sterling, I think you're a winner. Yes, these dogs really have shown that they are head and tail above the rest. And with a few dance moves up his sleeve, I'm pretty confident Coop will be able to give them a run for their money next year. Well, what an adventure it has been traveling the country with my best friend. And now that he has an NBC show on his resume, I'll certainly be watching that ego of his. Don't diva out on me, Coop. See you next week.